Well, y'all, I finally did it. I got the Dyson Airwrap. Look at this. Ah. Y'all, oh, that's classic. One down. I have been wanting a Dyson Airwrap for several years now. I know I'm late on the trend. This has been popular for a couple years. I mean, like maybe four years. I don't know when it came out. I've been debating back and forth whether or not to buy it because it is expensive. And two weeks ago, I finally did it. I am so excited to have this. I'm having so much fun using it and trying different styles and trying to get the hang of it because there is a bit of a learning curve. In this video, I show you how I did this style with the newest version of the Dyson Airwrap. I've had the Dyson Airwrap for a couple weeks now. I've used it probably less than 10 times and I'm gonna share my initial impressions in this video as someone who is very experienced with doing their hair since a very young age. And uh, I'm gonna tell you how I think it works. We're gonna do this blowout, which I am very much a fan of. I'm gonna tell you some of the things that annoy me about it, including how sometimes I feel like I can make my hair look a little too perfect which I realize is a crazy thing to say. <laughs> and I'll share a few tips and best practices for using it. So let's go. There are six different attachments I could use and I've been trying to experiment with all of them. But for today, I'm gonna use this attachment to do a rough blow dry. And then I think I'm gonna mostly use this smaller long barrel. There's two, there's one that's a little bigger and then the smaller one. So I think that's what I'm gonna use today. First things first, your hair does have to be a little bit wet. This is sort of air dried and I'm gonna re-wet it. With the Dyson Airwrap, something like this is gonna be your best friend. This is just like a hair mister I got on Amazon. It's amazing, I use this every single day, okay? For like all kinds of styles. But if you wanted to do your makeup first and then re-wet your hair, like when you're out of the shower, then this is great for that. And that's what I did today. So I'm gonna re-wet it with this mister, not, like completely wet out of the shower, but it does have to be, you know, a little damp for it to work, but it can't be super wet either. I will say there's a bit of a learning curve <laughs> with this, uh, this tool. You just learn as you go. Then I'm going to section it off. I'm gonna take up that top part. I'm gonna start with the bottom layer of hair and I already have to get it a little more wet. I'm gonna use this attachment first to do a rough blow dry of my roots, basically, not the whole hair. And then you just turn it and this is gonna be your, like what you can use as a blow dryer. The other side um, is this amazing smoother, which I've tried and it really does work, it's crazy. Apparently doing that will help give a little volume at the root and then you go in and you style the ends. So we're gonna switch attachments and just pop them off, it's very easy. And then I'm gonna go in with that smaller long barrel. This knob at the top will change the direction of airflow and basically you're just changing whether or not you're curling away from your face or toward your face. This is what they say to do. You hold the middle of your hair and then you turn it on and you let it sort of suck your hair up <laughs> into it. And then you just kind of like let it go. And okay, let me just show you, let's do that. Okay, and then you just keep pulling it towards your head. And then they say to kind of bounce it like this. And you'll feel the tension. The experts say to hold it for 10 seconds and then hit it with a cool shot, which is just pushing this button all the way up. Okay, I'm doing that now for like five or 10 seconds and then to turn it off. And then you've got your curl. Oh, look at that. That's what I did for this one. Let's do the whole head. Also, by the way, for this, blowout hairstyle, I am doing all of the hair away from my face, on each side, away from my face. Oh, 
Okay. Now, something to be aware of is that if you're not careful, it will start to pull in hair that is around the, the piece that you're curling. Um, the air just kind of like, the airflow, like it's, it's kind of like a vacuum. It just kind of sucks it in with it. And I don't always mind that because then it can get any stragglers that are straight pieces that I want to curl, but that just kind of got left out. But on the other hand, you know, it just pulled in this whole section that I already curled. So just something to be aware of. You can mitigate this by clipping each curl in place after you curl it and then doing the rest so that it can't pull the hair in with it. I have done that too, it just takes a little more time. So it's kind of up to you. Yeah, see, it really does. Okay, <laughs> it really will grab all the other hair if you haven't pinned it away, okay? That it can actually be quite annoying. I feel like just to get to these bottom layers, I need to do that. I need to pin this up a little, which is annoying, but it is what it is. I will also say it does not like when you try to work with a large section of hair, okay? It wants, it wants to work with smaller sections. That is when it's most successful in my experience. Oh. It really looks like shit. <laughs> like, this is frustrating, you know? On the bottom. We're gonna switch sides now. Turn this knob the other way and then the curls are gonna go back this way. Okay, we have a rough curl on the bottom section. I'm gonna give this a little spray of hairspray to set it. Now, the bottom section, like, it, it's not the prettiest at the moment. It's just kind of like, uh, I don't know, kind of like messy curls, which is fine for the bottom section. Let's see how the top goes. Gonna mist it again a little bit with some water. These need a little more water. See, the thing is, it's a little finicky because it doesn't curl it perfectly if it's too dry, but also won't if it's too wet. Like it has to be just the right amount of damp. At this point, I have abandoned doing the cool shot of air at the end because I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm like, let's go, let's get through this. I feel like I have chosen the most time consuming attachment to use for this video. So there's that. Here's the bottom section. What do we think? I'm gonna do another light layer of hairspray for this section. Because you know later on we're gonna do my favorite thing, which is brush it all out. That is where the magic happens. On to the last layer. Light mist of water again on this top section. I'm realizing that I did not do the rough blow dry of the roots on that second section, probably because it was already pretty much dry at the roots. And this honestly is too. I've seen people do the top section of hair a lot of different ways to get volume and the shape that they want. And you could go the route of like a 
sort of like a roller set, you know, people like they blow dry it and then they do like a roller here and then they do it again here and here and their bangs and then they let it set and they let it go. I'm not gonna do rollers. I haven't tried rollers with this yet. Um, I have tried it where I roll it up after blow drying it and then, you know, like just put a pin in it like that. I did that the other week and it was, it was nice, okay, don't get me wrong, but the volume was so crazy. <laughs> that I literally looked in the mirror and then also told Solomon, I feel like it looks like I'm wearing a wig because of the amount of volume like coming off of my head. It almost looked unnatural. So we're gonna try something different this time, which I haven't tried with a middle part and we're gonna see how that goes, which is just continuing to curl like we've been doing, which is just going on the sides and curling instead of doing like the whole, you know, roller kind of like pin it and let it set and then you have a ton of volume at the top of your head. Let's just see how this goes and see if I like it a little more. All right, let's go. Actually, it needs to be wet. More, more water. See, this is why you need this. You must have a hair mister if you're gonna have a Dyson Air Wrap. I don't make the rules. Boom. We're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. Almost there. I do have to say, there's something really satisfying about when it just grabs your hair with the air and then doing this with it, like feeling the tension of it holding your hair. Something about that is very satisfying to me. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I, I can see something happening here. I'm seeing some potential. I can try one more thing here. Like, I need, to, I need them to have a similar shape happening. All right, <sighs> hairspray. How's it looking back there? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a second set for a second before I brush it out. The moment we've all been waiting for. I can already hear the static in my hair. Wow. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> that is one of those things about winter that I do not like is the static in everything, in your clothes and your hair. You can definitely see it in my hair. It's in this brush right now. All right, what do we think? Ooh, ooh, okay, 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 it's looking smooth, it's looking shiny. Now I'm just gonna style it a little bit. I think it's cute, I think it looks really cute. It's not necessarily doing the same thing on each side down here, but I don't think that matters very much. I don't think anyone cares but me. And I love how smooth and shiny it makes the hair. I feel like the Dyson Airwrap definitely makes it look like, or has the potential, to make your hair look like you just got a blowout at the salon. And I swear, now that I'm, now that I have one and now that I'm like more aware of it, I swear I can tell when I see someone on the street with hair that looks freaking fabulous and like they just got a blowout at, at the salon, I swear I can tell. I'm like, I know they have a Dyson Air Wrap. I know. I actually just met a girl. I complimented her hair because it looked amazing. And I said, do you have the Dyson Air Wrap? And she said, yes. And I said, oh my God, I knew it. And I was like, I just got one. Oh my God. And we just, we talked about it and it was, it was so cute and so funny. But I was like, I know, I like, I can tell because it has this look and it is, has the ability to do something with your ends that just, it's like, it almost has a signature look. If you know what I mean? Like the Dyson look, the Dyson look. Did I just um, invent that? Get the Dyson look. All right, y'all. 
what do we think? This is the Dyson Airwrap. This is a middle part blowout on short, medium-ish hair. I think it's really nice. I think it's, it has a lot of volume. I think it's very shiny and pretty and has a nice shape to it. This is the first time doing my hair with the Dyson. And again, I haven't used it that many times yet. I've only had it for two weeks. But this is the first time I have actually really liked the outcome. It's not that I didn't like the outcome in previous uses. It's just that it made my hair almost look too perfect. <laughs> And I know that's an insane thing to complain about, but it made my hair look like I was wearing a wig, if that makes sense. <laughs> like I mentioned before, sometimes it has so much volume like lifted off the top of your hair, like from your roots, that it almost looks fake. Like it looks unnatural, unnaturally perfect. And then, you know, the the curls and the waves or whatever, like it would just fall in the perfect way. And again, like that's what you want, right? You want it to look like you just left the salon and it looks perfect, but it weirdly looked too perfect to me in a way that I didn't like. <laughs> I feel like this looks a little bit more laid back, but also still very nice and a lot of volume and shine and all of that. I really like this. But yeah, there have been some times in the past couple weeks where I'm like, this looks fake. <laughs> My hair looks fake. It looks too perfect. Never thought I would complain about that. I also want to try recreating my signature vintage curly hair with the side part with the Dyson Airwrap with this attachment. I think this is gonna be the one to do it. So let me know if you would like to see that and I will make it happen. Overall, I am loving the Dyson Airwrap. I'm having a lot of fun with it, trying to figure it out. I do feel like there's a learning curve. I think if someone's less experienced, they might have a bit steeper of a learning curve, but I think it's totally doable and definitely worth it. So that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you wanna see any other Dyson related videos, let me know, tutorials, specific hairstyles, something you want me to try, I will do it. Let's do it. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's really fun to use. And I am looking forward to trying more styles with my Dyson Airwrap. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.